lecture 11 eigenvalue and eigenvector part 2 in that lecture we discuss some properties of eigenvalue and eigenvectors there are some points important points related to the eigenvalue and eigenvectors the first one any square matrix a and is transpose both have the same eigenvalue the trace of the matrix is equal to the sum of the eigenvalue of the matrix and what is the trace of the matrix trace of the matrix is the sum of principal element of sum of principal diagonal of the matrix the product of eigenvalue if we product the, all the eigenvalue of the matrix a is equal to the determinant of that matrix if the eigenvalue suppose we have an eigenvalue we say lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda n of a matrix a then if the scalar k is multiplied by the matrix then the eigenvalue of k into a matrix is what that scalar is multiplied by that eigenvalues if lambda i is an eigenvalue of the matrix a suppose we say lambda i means lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 then the eigenvalue of matrix a inverse is what 1 upon lambda i if lambda says i is an eigenvalue of matrix a then the uh, eigenvalue of matrix a ki power m is what as lambda i ki power m suppose we have a matrix a and has an eigenvalue lambda 1 that is 2 and we have to find the eigenvalue of a square so we just the eigenvalue is what 2 square if a and b two square invertible matrices then a b and b a have the same characteristic root or we say same eigenvalue that's important point the eigenvalue of the real symmetric matrix is always all are real the eigenvalue of skew hermitian matrix is either pure imaginary or zero and the eigenvalue of orthogonal matrix are of unit modulo so these are some important points now we take an obtain the eigenvalue of a cube if a matrix a is what is a we have given two cross two matrix three two one two this is two cross two matrix so we have to find the eigenvalue of a cube for that first we find the eigenvalue of that matrix a so write the characteristic equation that is a minus lambda i determinant is equal to 0 so then what we get 3 minus lambda 2 1 2 minus lambda is equal to 0 on expanding that determinant we get an equation 3 minus lambda 2 minus lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 now on simplify that equation we get lambda square 5 minus 5 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0 so after factorizing factorize that equation we find the root of that equation so we get lambda is equal to 1 and 4 so these are what these are the eigenvalue for the matrix this is the eigen value is what 1 and 4 for matrix a now we have to find the eigenvalue of a cube so for finding the eigenvalue of matrix a cube so by using the property what we use what was what that property if the eigenvalue of the we have the two eigenvalues the lambda 1 is 1 and lambda 2 is say is 4 so the eigenvalue of a cube is what is just lambda 1 cube that is 1 cube and says lambda 2 cube that is 4 cube so we get 1 and we get 64 so we say 1 and 64 is eigen value for the matrix a cube if 
the eigen values of matrix A is 1 and 4. Now take other example two eigen values of the matrix this given matrix are equal to 1 each then we have to find the eigen value of A inverse. So for that first of all we have to find the third eigen value of that matrix then we find by the property of eigen value we find the eigen value of A inverse. For that we just let this is given let a lambda 1 and lambda 2 is 1 and let us take lambda 3 is what is unknown we have to find that third eigenvalue that is lambda 3 now by the property we know what the sum of all eigenvalues of matrix is equal to the trace of that matrix that is in that case we say a11 plus a22 plus a33 is equal to what lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 because we have 3 cross 3 matrix so this is what this is the trace of the matrix now we know the value of a11 that is the principal diagonal the element of principal diagonal that is 2 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to lambda 1 we know 1 plus lambda 2 we know 1 and plus lambda 3 so lambda 3 is what this implies lambda 3 is what 5 now we get the third eigenvalue of that matrix that is 5 so 1 1 and 5 are the eigenvalue of matrix A then 1 upon 1 1 upon 1 and 1 upon 5 is eigenvalue for the matrix A inverse so by the help of property we can easily find the eigenvalue of A inverse there is no need to find the A inverse then find the mat uh, eigenvalue of that matrix now by using the property we have to show that the vector 1 1 2 transpose is an eigenvector of the matrix that given matrix of order 3 cross 3 corresponding to the eigenvalue 2 means we have to show that this vector is corresponding to that eigenvalue and that eigenvalue is for that matrix so for that we have given what we say the lambda that is eigenvalue we say 2 and the given vector is what 1 1 2 transpose of that vector now if this is an eigenvalue and corresponding that vector so it should satisfy the property of eigenvalue and what was a into x so we write a into x we write the matrix 3 2 2 1 2 2 minus 1 minus 1 0 then we write the vector if this vector is eigenvector for that matrix then now we multiply the first row with the first column what we get 3 plus 1 minus 2 we get 2 2 plus 2 minus 2 what we get again 2 2 plus 2 and 0 into 2 that that, that is we get 4 now <coughs> this vector if we take 2 as a common so we write 2 1 1 2 so what we get 2 time of again that x so here we get relation ax is equal to 2x and in that case what we say this is what eigen value and this is what 
this is an eigen vector so we show that that i this that eigen vector is corresponding to that eigen value so this is an example which is based on the property we have given a lambda with an eigen value of a non singular matrix then we have to show that lambda inverse is an eigen value of a inverse we also show that property in the previous example now how to show that property so here we just take let lambda is an eigen value of a matrix a then therefore there exist n non zero we say matrix or we say vector that is capital x such that what a x is equal to lambda x now we multiply both side by a inverse so what we get a inverse a x a inverse lambda x we just multiply a inverse on the left side now what is a a inverse we know this is what this is make identity so we get i x and we write a inverse lambda x now identity matrix multiply with any matrix we get what again a matrix that is i x is what i x and we can interchange because lambda is a scalar so we can write lambda a inverse x now we can write x and we put that lambda and we write a inverse x so this is what this can be show that we can write lambda inverse x is equal to a inverse x or if we write a inverse x is equal to lambda inverse x so by the property or we can say definition of the eigen value the matrix and multiply with the vector we get an scalar and we get an that similar vector so what we say this is an eigen value for what for the matrix that that is a inverse and these are what these are the eigen vector this is eigen value for a inverse and this is so we can say lambda inverse is eigen value for a inverse continue to the next lecture